All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So I've got a pretty interesting story for a video for you guys today. Um, and that story is about a bodybuilder named Marius Doan, who is a South African bodybuilder um, that actually was diagnosed with stage five kidney failure. So this video is going to be kind of the ups and downs of Marius Doan, um, talking about his competitive career, the actual kidney failure itself, um, and his most recent transformation, kind of his comeback to getting his health back, getting back in shape, not as a pro bodybuilder, he doesn't compete anymore, um, but he basically has a three-part transformation. Um, how he looked as a pro bodybuilder, how he looked during the worst stages of his kidney failure, and how he looks now on his path to a healthier lifestyle. So I think this story serves as both a good cautionary tale and also as an inspirational story. Um, because number one, there are certain risks associated with becoming a pro bodybuilder um, and certain health issues that a pro bodybuilder could become more susceptible to, such as kidney failure or a heart attack, um, high cholesterol, high blood pressure. So I think it's important to understand some of the risks that are associated with pro bodybuilding. But at the same time, um, this is a positive story. Even though an, a very unfortunate disease happened to Marius Doan, he's able to come back. Um, and he was able to recover his health. He was able to recover his physique, not a pro bodybuilder physique, but he was able to get back into the gym and start living a healthy lifestyle again. And it's a happy story. It didn't have a sad ending uh, where he ended up passing away from this disease. So I do think it's a good uh, topic for a video, especially considering the fact that Marius is only the age of 38 years old. So he is a relatively modern era bodybuilder. I believe he began his pro career in 2010 at the New York Pro with the IFBB, um, where he took ninth. And I think his best pro win or his best placing as a pro in the IFBB was in 2011, where he won the Tampa Pro, which is something we're looking forward to now. It's a show that's happening in August. We're going to see Dexter Jackson there. We were going to see Big Rami there. Tampa Pro is a pretty good uh, open show and a pretty big show for a guy to win. So as a pro, he competed from 2010 to about 2016. And 2016 was actually when he was diagnosed with this stage five kidney disease. Now, early on in his career, after competing at the 2011 Mr. Olympia, that was when he first learned that he had some issues with his kidney. So he actually took a brief retirement between 2011 and 2016. Um, I believe until 2014 was when he made his comeback. So he took about three years off to try to solve and recover from the kidney issues that he was having in 2011. So in 2014, he felt that his health had improved. He felt that he had fixed the problem with his kidneys and he made his comeback to professional bodybuilding. So you could make the argument that that comeback in 2014 was the straw that broke the camel's back, so to speak, um, as far as the stage five kidney failure, because after 2016, when he was diagnosed with stage five kidney failure, the condition of his kidneys was rapidly declining at that point. Um, so it was a very, very fast downfall um, in 2016. So as a result, following that kidney failure, we saw a very different version of Marius Dunn. We saw a sickly really a shadow of himself. And of course, his health deteriorated very quickly, but also his physique deteriorated very, very quickly as well. And of course, the physique isn't the most important thing. His health is, um, but you certainly saw a noticeable, visible transformation with Marius Doan just in his body alone. So let's get to the reason I made this video here. So recently, today actually, on his Facebook page, Marius Doan put up a post of his five-month transformation. So at the beginning of the five months, where his physique looked the worst and had deteriorated the most and his health was pretty bad, that was where he started this transformation. So in five months time, he was able to take his physique from the physique that you see on the left to the physique that you see on the right. So he's been clearly getting healthier and you can just notice a difference in his face, in his skin. Obviously he's put muscle back on, he's lost some body fat and his physique looks good now. But you can tell a noticeable healthy difference. And he says in the caption, allow me to take you back before those start photos were taken, say maybe a year, year and a half ago. And he talks about how bad of shape he was in and how he was in a wheelchair, how he could barely work out. And he talks about the long excruciating journey of being able to walk again, slowly being able to train again um, to where he is now. He can walk, he can train like regular. He's got a very strict diet. He can pick up his son with one hand. Um, he's strong again and he's, his health is back. And I think this is a very, very positive story um, and a story that definitely needs to be shared in bodybuilding. 
So that's the video for today, guys. I really do wish the best for Mario's Doan. I'm really happy to see that he's healthy now and he's getting back in shape, getting back in the gym, but more importantly, that he has his health back. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Please give this video a thumbs up for Mario's Doan's five-month transformation. Please subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed already. And if you have not subscribed to my vlog channel, Nick Strength and Vlogs, please go over there and subscribe as well for vlogs and bonus content. As always, thank you guys for watching. Nick Strength and Power. Signing out.